Welcome everyone to Product One's technical web series. Today we're looking at additive manufacturing with the emphasis of simulation driven lattice. So PDC has partnered with ENSYS and I think uh, that partnership has brought about emerging technologies such as your simulation live and ENSYS simulate inside Creo Parametric. So that a relationship has actually brought us to this, whereby you now having an analysis results uh, you utilize to create a lattice structure for your 3D printed components. Let's get started. So what I have here, it's a simple part, it's a, it's a bedding. What I'm going to do is showcase that this is a solid component at the moment as it stands, and I now need to sort of like do a simple basic analysis onto this. And I'm just going to go back into my simulation live environment, uh, which is as a partnership of ANSYS and PTC. And you can choose multiple options here, whereby you can choose speed, accuracy, and the like. And if I were to look at this, these are what we call my boundary conditions or load constraints. Uh, it showcases what is the bending moment or moment applied on this here and then what is my constraint essentially where this component is either going to be fixed or glued or attached. So there's nothing special here. What I'm going to do though is just quickly run this analysis and while the analysis is busy generating results, I need to explain uh, something as well. We did mention that you need a certain type of graphics card to run something like your simulation uh, live and answer simulate. So I have a graphics card that is not uh, supported, but it still does the job. Of course, this would be even a lot quicker if I had the newer generation of graphics card. I will post the details of those uh, graphics cards if you want to view those. So now, you can see that the results are taking shape. I get to see where the high stress points are going to be. Now, all I'm looking at now is von Mises stress, and this is essentially what I have. I can look at where are my maximum and minimum stresses. So minimum uh, stress is actually going to be in this area here, in the middle of the geometry. And where else the maximum stresses are going to be in this particular location over here. I can also look at the deformation and see where the maximum stresses of the deformation are located. And ideally you would always want the maximum uh, deformation to be outside uh, that particular surface. And of course you can animate this just to make sense uh, to see if does this conform to the loads and constraints that you've defined? But the trick here is, I can choose to take this Intel and go and re-engineer my component and redesign it and so forth. Alternatively, this is what I can do. I can now, let's change this to von Mises stress first. I can now do the following. I can query and export the numerical component of the results. So what I'm actually doing here, I'm taking these results, I'm going to export them as a CSV file. So essentially, I've just told the system that to extract a, a couple of points to generate these results, and it's going to give me a feedback or a dialog box that will give me an indication of what name should I assign into my particular so now all that I'm left with is for me to rename these results. So let's call it a VM demo, whatever the case is. So I've just saved that CSV file. I now can leave this environment. Bear in mind, this is still the same component that is solid. So I need to do something about it. I can go into my lattice creation environment, stipulate that I want to replace this geometry and I want to also create a shell. So I'm now starting to pick my lattice region. 
I can specify the cell type and the dimensions thereof. And this is what that entails. I can also specify the fill of my lattice and choose even the configuration. So I'm going to choose the star configuration at this particular point. I'm now defining the magnitude of the diameter of the dangling beam and of course the cross sections. So this is very, very thin lattice structures and you can pretty much get the idea by viewing it. And maybe it will add value if I simplify the representation and just quickly show you the viewable of the current lattice arrangement as it stands. So the system goes through uh, the series of, of the lattice creation and you'll see in a short while how these lattices will look like. And I have not utilized the simulation results that I've just saved. I want to show the difference between what you currently have, which is this type of lattice. As you can see, it's constant or uniform. Uh, there's nothing that is guiding uh, the thickness of this apart from the values that I've just put in the system. However, if I were to say the density must be varied utilizing the analysis results that I've just saved. So the system will go through and recalculate all those points that we've defined and it will afford me the opportunity to pull through that CSV file. But this is where it gets interesting. In areas where I had high stresses, the variable density will be a lot thicker. So the thickness of the density of the lattice will be bigger in areas where I need support and in areas where I don't need extra support where I had minimum von Meissen stress values, meaning here in the middle, I'm going to get the thinner uh, lattice in that particular region. So all that I have to do is pull in the CSV file and just like that, I'm going to now uh, import that. So what the system is currently doing, it's generating my lattice as it's as you can see, this is how my simulation driven lattice looks like. So it's essentially it's driven by the simulation results that I've just generated and it had a look to say this is the areas in which I need to beef up the lattice and in here where I don't have high stress values, here I don't have to have a bigger lattices. So all that I have to do is just accept this, just to create the physical geometry now. As you can see, I'm now having my fully fledged geometry, which if I were to showcase now the cross section, you get to see that I'm having a variable density lattice that is driven by simulation. And this is what we mean when we say simulation driven lattice creation. And that is it for this particular week. Uh, do not forget to like the video, send comments, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for notification when we post more videos such as this. Until next time, good